What's up Outdoorsman, Greg here, and today I'm going over exactly how I pack and keep track of everything I need for an out-of-state hunt. This is what my screen looks like. This is my hunting packing checklist. And the way it works, I will share this with you guys. There will be a link in the description below to where you can access this, make a copy of it, and then do whatever you want. This the, the way it works is, let's look down here at base items. So you can see right down here in my mouse, base items. This is everything that I own, and I have it broken down into categories. And I keep this up to date. As I get new gear, sell gear, find new ways to use it, I keep this updated as much as I can. Uh, I do it a couple times a year. But you can see hunting, weapon, saddle care if you're a tree stand guy uh, you can stop watching this video now gross but you would change that to tree stand meat camera gear you can see all of the categories to include uh, what i leave in my truck and then some pre-prep columns but here let's let's basically talk about how i make this work essentially i keep everything i own here and you'll see over here in the clothing column i got some new first light stuff so i added the first light in here here we go last year i went on the public land challenge and you can see it deleted stuff out i also went hunting for montana elk and i deleted even more stuff out uh but the way it works so i'm going to be going to north dakota and the way i will make this work for me is i'll come over here and i'll click duplicate then i'm going to rename this north dakota 2020 woohoo going to North Dakota. This is exciting. And now I basically just start deleting everything that I don't need. So for instance, let's look here at the weapon column. This is a bow hunt. So I know I don't need a rifle. So I'm going to delete that. I know I don't need a shotgun. So I'm going to delete that. Now I'm just left with my bow gear. Let's jump over to the camping section. Now, if I were staying in a hotel, I would delete out my tent and jet boil and sleeping bag and sleeping pad because I don't need any of that stuff. Just turns out that I this is a camping trip, but I am sleeping in my truck, so I don't need a tent. I don't need a sleeping pad because I'm sleeping on a mattress. So I'll delete those out, and then I'll just keep everything organized. Now I basically will just go through every single column delete out the items that I don't need, and I'll add in things that I do. And the way that I add in things that I do is I'll do it on a piece of paper. So I'll print this whole list out. Now I've got a analog version. I'll take it down to the garage, to the truck, to my gear stuff, and I'll start packing items. Well, if I come up with a new item that I forgot, I'll add in here, uh, let's just say Limsol. I'll make a note of that and I'll come back to the base items here. I'll switch off the North Dakota and I'll switch to base items and I would add that whatever it is, I would add that in here. Okay, I would add in all those items to the, to the column that made sense. That way I keep everything organized and up to date. And the next time I'm ready to go for a trip, I just come into base items, I make another copy and that's how I manage all of my gear, what I'm taking, and my packing list. This is another column I want to talk about here, this pre-prep column. This is super useful. So do you have your tags and your license purchased? Do you have the Onyx maps downloaded? Maybe you're going somewhere where you're not going to have service and you need to down that download those maps now over Wi-Fi. Did you reserve the campsites, hotels, special permits? Have you contacted a taxidermist in the area? So when I was hunting in Illinois, uh, several years back with my brother, we got in a situation where we killed a deer early in the hunt and we didn't have anywhere to store the, the, the deer. So we needed to find a taxidermist with a cooler. That is something I wish we'd have learned about or pre-planned for. Uh, if you're bringing enough coolers and whatnot, that may not be an issue for you, but it's just something I keep in the pre-prep uh, column just in case. And you could add anything in here, any sort of personal reminders, Let's say you need to make sure that you have child care. Uh, add that in here. You can always delete it out, and it's easy to do. So 
I like to put as much in this column as possible to help me remember what I need to make sure to do for an out of the state hunt. That's the pre prep column, super helpful. The in truck column, this is stuff that basically just lives inside of my truck at all times. Most of this stuff is in my truck at all times. I have to add a few things in there like the Mr. Buddy heater, my lithium battery, and the inverter. Those are extras that have to go in there. But the rest of these items pretty much live in my truck at all times. Now, I recently added a truck camper top to my to my truck bed and I did a whole video on that. I'm actually going to do a more in-depth video about what I keep in the bins that live in my truck bed and a lot of these things are in there right now. I've gone through the North Dakota list. As you can see here, I've, I've duplicated the base items and now I'm back in North Dakota and I've pretty much deleted out everything that I'm not going to take. The last step to get this ready for, for print basically is to copy this stuff just so it fits better on, um, on a piece of paper. Uh, I'll, cut, I'll cut that, paste it down below, and then I'll delete these extra columns out. And then I'm pretty much ready to go. As you guys can see, I've got a nice list here and it prints out beautifully. File, print, and you can see I've got a nice, easy to read packing list. And then I have space all over here to make updates and come back and add that to my list and make sure that it's ready to go. So now I've got my checklist. I've got my piece of paper that has everything that I need on it. I can go through and make updates and, and update my system on the computer in Google, on Google Docs whenever I get back. And you know it's a nice easy reference point for me to double check and make sure I have everything. Now you may be thinking, wow, that is a lot of crap. There's no way I need all of that stuff. Well, keep in mind everything is broken down into very uh, granular detail so for instance i have ibuprofen toothpaste toothbrush all just kind of the basic stuff that you're going to have anyway in my bow case for my in the weapon column i've got my bow my release fletchings broadheads all that lives in my bow case at pretty much all times i'm just using this as a double check more or less i'm just going to grab my bow case throw it in the truck and i'm ready to go the camo pretty much lives in camo bins and, the, and all the other stuff pretty much lives in gear bins. So I'm either just double checking or I'm just grabbing that bin and throwing it in the truck. So it's really not that complicated, even though it may seem like a lot of stuff and a lot of nitty gritty stuff. It's actually pretty helpful. I can go through and just cross everything off and I know that I have everything that I need for my hunt. So hopefully this uh, taught you something. Maybe you learned a little bit more about how to be a more efficient planner or packer, or maybe it'll give you some ideas on something you need to bring on your hunt. Now, don't forget, in the description below, there's a link to the Google document with uh, the spreadsheet, and you can use it however you want. Maybe I missed something. If you guys take a look at my list, put in the comments below maybe something that I missed that you use that could be helpful, and I can refine my list and make it even better. So thanks for watching and you guys do something, just get outdoors.